Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today is another exciting cold flow challenge at negative 50 degrees Celsius. We got our Schaefer's XP Extreme Performance. This is the full synthetic 75W140 versus Amsoil 100% synthetic severe gear. These are both GL5 spec. Let's do it. Here we go. Negative 53.2. Negative 57. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, share this video with a friend that's new to taking care of their vehicle. It'll give them a lot of education on how to take care of their vehicle. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go ahead and tap this little button, and then you're going to see the notification bell. You're going to go in here. You're going to allow it, all the settings in the badge. You're going to go back, and you're going to click this bell and you'll hit all notifications. That way you'll get a notification when I publish my next video. That way you can leave a comment on any of my videos within the first three hours, and I randomly select people for the end of month giveaway. We give $100 gift cards away, all kinds of stuff. So we'll see you at the last Saturday of the month at the giveaway. They almost look absolutely identical. I think the AMS oil was just a tidge colder. Let's see. Negative 53, negative 55. Yeah, they're almost identical. Wow. That's a first on the channel. Almost exactly the same. And now for the behind the scenes footage. This is where we put the liquid gold in the jars. We're gonna be starting out with our Schaefer's Extreme XP, Extreme Performance 75140. And this right here, is the very stuff that uh, a lot of tow trucks take. So you got your uh, super off-road vehicles take the thick stuff. You got your uh, tow trucks, um, all your diesel trucks, pretty much. So we're going to give you your up-close crack. Right there, that came off real nice. And here we go. Let's let the liquid lube flow. Oh my gosh. More of the Green Goblin. It's like pouring honey on pancakes. And now it's time for our 100% synthetic AMS oil. This right here 
is the very stuff that Al Amatuzio pioneered up at Pikes Peak way back in the late 60s. He actually pioneered this gear lube with Bobby Unser. Bobby Unser is a 12-time Pikes Peak champion, a.k.a. the king of the hill. And Bobby uh, loved racing, so Al approached him and he said, hey, I got something. So uh, he tried this AMS oil in his rear diff, these metal gears that come together, and there's a lot of friction and heat when you're climbing the hill. You have constant pressure, constant meshing, a lot of heat, a lot of friction. And uh, before uh, Bobby Unser switched to AMS oil, he actually had to replace his diff a few times each race season. After switching to AMS oil, he actually could go through practice sessions, through race day, into the next season, all on the same rear differential. So that was his gain. And uh, Bobby Unser said it was the biggest gain he ever made on a lubricant in his life. And this is the Easy Pack, and this is the GL5 spec, and this holds about 1,100 pounds. So it's not gonna bust or burst on you when you squeeze it in. And now I'll give you the up close crack. And in a second, we're gonna be showing you uh, under a microscope what it would look like, the difference. So this one's a little bit of a stickler. So we're just gonna pop her in with the old screwdriver. And then I just peel outward, just like this. That's usually what I do. And uh, there we go. So we got our package open. And now it's time to let the liquid lube flow. And I love the feel of these packages. So beautiful. I can't even speak almost. It's that beautiful. Pour is so easy. And the packaging actually takes up less space when you go to throw this package away. Super easy to fold up. Less recycling space. And man, that just, it's beautiful. And now I wanted to explain how the AMS oil is different. Now, they can actually call a full synthetic, full synthetic, when it's only 25% synthetic or more. So this right here, they call it a full synthetic. And believe it or not, that term actually means 25% synthetic or more. So if you think of synthetic molecules like this, perfectly round shaped, and these actually are quite a bit better because they don't allow carbon to stick to them as easily. Carbon ends up being sludge, uh, you get soot thickening, and you got a lot of thickening when it's cold out. And this right here, this would be our mineral oil. And basically mineral oil is refined from the earth, and they can only do such a good job by making it all the same shape and size. So you see we got these different rocks and what they look like. And that's our synthetic. So if you'd go ahead and roll this, we'll see how they roll differently. One rolls pretty good. The other one doesn't really roll. <laughs> so there's quite a bit of a difference in the actual film strength of how it operates. Also another nice thing is how they flow in the cold, which the 100% synthetic flows a lot better in the cold. And this is why they use 100% synthetics and jet engines and all these different components uh, with extreme temperatures. A jet flies at about some at 50, 60,000 feet. It's about negative uh, 60 degrees below zero up there. So uh, very important to have special lubricants. And then they hold the extreme temperatures better. They don't sludge and break down and burn off, which is called oil volatility, where the oil actually boils off like a stew. It thickens and the vapors lift off. And uh, so now we're going to give you the price on the Schaefer's. The Schaefer's is dirt, 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 cheap. And the reason is because we have a good gentleman over at Simplify Auto, and he gave us a heck of a deal on it. And he's a local Schaefer's dealer here in Las Vegas. So definitely reach out to him if you want the Schaefer's. And we are rolling on to our friction. So if you think when you have this oxidation, all this carbon buildup, you get these black molecules and it's called volatility and the minerals of mineral oil turn black and get carbon real quick. And the carbon, what that does is it actually scratches your bearings like this. 
like that and you have this scratchiness and uh, when the old lubricant doesn't flow right away you actually starve the bearings of lube because the lube actually spins up and then goes sideways out to the the gears and the, the wheel bearings depending on your differential so you want something that flows as fast as possible in the cold especially with a, a diesel truck where you're you're going to be in the cold a lot because most let's let's face it differentials don't have heaters uh, that i'm aware of most of them don't have diff heaters so a lot of people they neglect this and they forget how important it is to have a lubricant like this and then the other thing we're going to do we're going to be showing our lucas performance we uh we did one on the 90 weight gear lube check that out up here in the corner we already did one that one was exciting and uh i'm super stoked to show it this is what um, a lot of the heavy, heavy duties take uh, is this super thick stuff. So I'm super stoked. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Tap that notification bell. Inside the books we go at negative 50 degrees Celsius. We're going to be doing Lucas next, so definitely stick around, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and tap that notification bell. That's going to give you a buzz on your phone when I publish my next video. And remember, we got Eben's end of month giveaway. We do that every last Saturday of the month. Next one's coming up November 27th, and we give hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars of gift cards away. And I give back to the community for always supporting, leaving the comments. So I randomly go through the comments section and pick people out of there. So remember to leave that comment. Let me know what other lube you want to see next after Lucas. And if you want to try these amazing 100% uh, synthetic uh, AMS oil, you can use my link down below. And I know a lot of people, they're curious how much this stuff costs. They're always concerned. And I tell people the truth. If you have to ask how much it costs, that means you can't afford it. That's what I tell people. But uh, if you want to try it, it's down in the description section below. You'll see if you're on a laptop desktop, click show more. If you're on a smartphone, you're going to see this reverse triangle. It's like a little down arrow. Click that. And that goes into the whole description section where I share lots of test data on all these products. And as always, we'll see you back right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Check out more gear lube flow tests here on cold flow and more gear lube. Check out more transmission fluid cold flow tests here. Up here, we got more motor oil cold flows, and we will see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.